Here I build a model to illustrate how the radioactive decay works and the increase in the daughter nuclide. Imagine here that to the left this is a sort of table and there are coins on the table. And the coins have a blue side and a red side. And then initially you throw a thousand coins on this table. And then by few chance about half of the coins will be red and the other half will be blue. This is what we see above here now. Um, statistically there are in this case 510 red and 490 blue. So this is sort of a coin tosser here. And then there's a plot and initially we start with a thousand coins. There's a small point here and then we have time steps on the x-axis. Now assume that the blue coins are rubidium 87. So this would be um, the radioactive parent and the radioactive radiogenic daughter would then be strontium 87. So red is strontium 87. And then I delete all the red because I want to know how much how many of the initial uh, rubidium 87 is still present. And this is about, of course, what is said here, 500. So in this case, it's 490. And then I toss all the coins again. So I shake this coin tosser and toss it again. And about half of what has been left from the um, rubidium 87, again, is uh, uh, remains as rubidium 87. The other half, the red one, is strontium 87. So if I delete this again, then this is what remains from the rubidium 87 here. And then I shake it again and delete the red again. So delete the strontium 87. So we just see the remaining rubidium 87. And I shake it again and again and again. And then I do this 10 times. So now we are at 9 and then we are at 10 times. And you can see that after about 10 times, so if these are 10 half-lives because in each step half the material was um, deleted because we have uh, also because of the, the coin toss about after 10 half-lives almost all of the material is gone and the curve we can see here is an exponential curve so this is how exponential decrease or to the other side would be then the increase of 87 how this works now let's try this with more initial coins. So let's say we have initially a thousand but ten thousand coins. And then again we delete the, the red ones and the curve looks pretty much the same. And this is what we would expect because this is what exponential growth or decrease means. So I can do the same again here. Shake it, delete the red, shake it, delete the red, shake it, delete the red. And again I do this ten times. So this is 9 and this is 10. And what we see here is that again after about 10 half-lives, because this, this decrease is so fast that after 10 half-lives almost all of the initial material is gone. And this is why we say after 10 half-lives almost none of the initial material is left over. Now interestingly we can now imagine that say we have a starting of 100 coins. So these coins are not coins but dices with six sides. And then we throw dice for each of these coins or each of these dice. And we only remove the dice which show a one. So in each step not half of the material is removed but only a six. And then in the next time step again we throw all the dice and again only the dice showing a one are removed. So the decrease is much slower which means that you can um, think of the, the sides of the dice as sort of the decay constant. So the decay constant before was about 0.5 and now the decay constant is 1.6 because in each step only 1.6 of the material is removed. Only 1.6 of the uh, um, initial rubidium 87 is removed. Now imagine a dice not with six sides, but maybe 50 sides or 2516 sides. Which means that if you throw again and with each throw you remove only dice with one, you remove one uh, in 2506 of the, of the initial material. So the decay constant sort of would be much higher, but the half-life would be much slower, much slower because in each time step you remove much less material. So 
such a dice with different sides or different number of sides can be an, um, is a sort of an analog of a decay constant. And this is a very simple model how to imagine uh, um, how decay but also growth works and why this is an exponential function.